Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Guy Barassa from Namaska Lithium. How are you today, Guy? Very good, thank you. Guy, your stock, I believe, was up over 166% last year. Uh, most, you basically defied gravity. Can you tell us what you can attribute this to? Well, we delivered what we said we were going to do. Uh, the market was quite flat for most of the year, but in expectation of us getting all the permits required to start building and operation of the Wabushi mine. So if you look at the chart, it exactly reflects the decisions that were rendered. Uh, federal government at the end of July, stock raised on this. Uh, early September, uh, provincial government gave the certificate of authorization, another spike. And it maintained very good liquidity because we have strong believer in the, our stock, long-term shareholders, and they were all expecting long due uh, process to be approved. And of course, let's not forget your MOU signing with Johnson Matthey. I think our audience really needs to appreciate as much as we do how substantial that that agreement signing actually was. Oh, it is one of a kind, and obviously it also reflected very uh, strongly on the stock. The MOU we signed with Johnson Matthey is a has never been seen in the lithium sector. It's a uh, it has never been seen of a end user, actual credible large end user of lithium compound that is willing to pay upfront $12 million on goods and services coming from a plant that is not even built. So it's not some sort of a potential letter of intent. It's a real uh, hard money put up front for goods and services. And of course, you managed to sign a deal with real cash. Um, and this, of course, uh, can you talk to us a little bit about the capital component of this deal, please? Yes, it's a $12 million Canadian upfront payment for uh, goods, mainly uh, lithium compounds that will come out of the phase one plant that we're starting to build uh, this quarter in Shawinigan. It's, uh, it's very interesting because it also shows how tight the market is presently. So for a, a end user that is willing to put money up front to make sure that it will create and, and uh, create a new production supply, uh, that's very, very strong message, message on how tight the market is and how the outlook also looks. Okay, interesting. Also, Christopher Ecclestone, one of our uh, global analysts at Investor Intel, said you're going to be the first girl to the dance, I believe is his quote, and uh, one of the few that will make it, one of the few in a handful that will make it to production. Can you just kind of give us an outline of your production timeline? Uh, the production timeline is uh, uh, construction is about 18 months. We're targeting the end of 2017 for commissioning the mine, uh, Q1 of 2000 and Q2 of 2018 for commissioning of the commercial hydromet plant. It's um, yeah, that's about what we're looking at. And of course, and not I don't don't want to step over this because I find this interesting personally. You have a patent application for your lithium compound processing plant that you're building. Can you tell us about uh, the technology where we're at with this particular uh, patent? Well, we have in fact seven different patent uh, families of patents. We have one that has been granted in Canada, and we're evolving it as a PCT. Uh, we have a couple that are coming in the next couple of uh, of months. And uh, the, 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 the overall portfolio covers all of the different aspects of our process. All right. So what should we as shareholders, which I'm sure your shareholders are absolutely thrilled with you, Guy, uh, what should we anticipate in 2016? Well, to start in the next couple of months, that's the official closing of the johnson Matthey agreement, then disbursement of, the, uh, of their uh, financing that will launch the construction of the phase one plant. Uh, we're currently uh, uh, about to enter into the buildings that uh, we're in the process of acquiring in Shawinigan. So uh, that's going to be a very big milestone when we, we start entering there with trucks and the real equipment. That's a uh, nine, ten months process of construction. Uh, obviously, the grant and confirmation of the uh, certain patents in the next couple of months. Um, also, uh, we're going to be doing a, a large bulk sample in Wabushi during the summer and the fall uh, to feed in 2017 the phase one plant. It's uh, no, it's a it's, it's a very good year. 
Well, it sounds like it's going to be an exciting year. And of course, you're going to be joining us and speaking at the Clean Tech and Technology Metal Summit in Toronto on May 10th and May 11th. We look forward to seeing you soon, Guy. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you.